Hello, I'm here at Thorsby, and there is Spike in the John Deere, and Sam in the AgriFac Light Tracks Sugar Bee Harvester. So here you can see the sugar beet. This is where they go up on the conveyor onto the top of the bunker. This is the smaller version of sugar beet. They do um, six wheel versions. This is called the light tracks. And the wheels are all offset. I thought they moved out on the road, but they don't. So these two are in and the front ones are out. And that is to spread the load of the machine evenly to reduce compaction onto the ground. Let's have a little look in the cab. Well, he's not moving. So it's a new machine. So what you can see, I'll just turn that radio off so you don't get any music copyright issues. You've got different cameras there that Sam's got. You've got the tank, the back, the cleaning. So they're the turbines as it goes up. And he's got the AgriFact screen. Joysticks. And on this side, he's got some controls. So we're just in cab now with Sam, and he's gonna start opening up. He's done the headlands, which is the areas all the way around the edge of the field. And that gives him the room to turn around when he's on the ups and downs. So he's just dropped the head in. You'll see now, these are the turbines I spoke about. So the share is underneath, lifting those sugar beets on. The turbines are spinning round. Feeding that, and there's the topper, spreading the green tops out. And then in the back, the bunker. You can see them loading up. It's been a decent, uh, hard, decent crop this year, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been. We've had rain at the right, power. right time, so it's good yields. And what are you looking for down there? What are you keeping your eye on to make sure you know it's just, running right? Yeah, it's watching all this bees coming up through the shares. Obviously, not got bee colours onto them on like a tram. Yep. It's all missing one on the yeah, he's checking it's flowing nicely to the turbine. Yeah, so Sam's just say checking the flow, making sure that everything's coming up as it should. There's a row there that nothing's happening on, and that's because it's in a tram line. So there's the tram line, and corresponding, you've seen no beat coming up that part, but Sam's then checking on these other sides to make sure there's a good flow. And these control, what are these on this side? Uh, got elevator speed, elevator on and off, that's for your tank floor, like right, slow move, fast for the air. And this is for me, when it's on the front of the topper, it's got two like feelers, what I feel. Yeah, like, yeah, your guidance, feet, yeah, yeah. The steering. So when it's in auto mode, I can adjust the... Um, How aggressively yeah, it... The front wheels and back wheels. Yeah, oh, fine cool. adjustments. Yeah, yeah. And then I think this is a class forager cab. Often that's what happens, they borrow manufacturers' um, cabs. You see it on quite a few um, machines where they'll do that rather than have to reinvent their own. So now Sam's opened up, you can see a little bit more of how the topper is um, spreading out those tops. So here is the bunker. This is where all the sugar beet comes up and gets dropped in. So it comes up at that far side there. It comes into here and fills up. And then the auger will push it forwards, as will the floor, and feed it out onto the arm, the bunker there, the bunker arm there, and out onto the trailers. And you'll be able to see that in a minute as we get going. So Sam's just pulled up at this headland and he's now unloading. I will just open the door so you can see what that looks like. 
So what it will do is got an auger on top, so we can turn that auger to bring that crop from the back if it needs to forward. But on here, he's also got the floor, so he's feeding that through, and that is making its way out onto the trailer with Spike. And that is now empty. You can turn that off and on top of Spike's cab. He asked me to show you his duck. So there, he's got a silver duck. So yeah, don't ask me why, but that's Spike. So Sam is just getting ready to line up for this next run. It'd be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. And if you haven't already, if you want to subscribe, that'll be mega. Hit that bell and you'll be notified of any future uploads. I thought I'd show you a bit of the machine. So if I just flick back here, we've got the road guidance. So now these drop in, these parts, and they go left and right and they feel for where the row is and that guides the head that is behind that. Underneath here at the front, this part is the topper. These spin round, take the tops off. Then we've got the scalpel or the knives. I think that's what they're called behind that. And then the share is what lifts the sugar beets up. So that scalpel comes across the sugar beet then lifts, the share gets underneath the soil and lifts the sugar beet onto that where they get onto the turbines. The turbines spin round and pass the sugar beet, taking soil off, pass it round all the way up onto the top of the bunker. One part I missed on here was the, um, we've got uh, an auger on the top of the topper. So the topper spins round in there. It comes all the way onto the top of the machine and this auger then fires it out. This spins round and disperses those tops evenly out over the field, as you can see there. So what's happening now is we've got Sam, he's emptying the rest of the bunker that's in the harvester, and Spike there just to the other side, he's tipping. Now this pile will stay here and they'll either bring a mouse or a loading shovel or something like that, and then they'll get an allocation from British Sugar at Newark when it's their time um, for this crop to be uh, taken to the factory to be processed. So as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video.